Uh, tough loss tonight. Um, you know, Bryce gave us six pretty good innings, six strong innings, and um, and then turned it over to the bullpen. Tough eighth inning, a couple of ground balls. Uh, you know, just a, a well placed chopper and, and a ball off the glove, and and uh, you know, it's a tough it's a tough way to take it. And and um, but you know, um, it was it was a tough one to swallow tonight. Dan, when Cal throws out Garcia to end the sixth, top of six, you, you have your bullpen all kind of lined up. I mean, you have Troy, you have Colin, you have Mooney ready to go. I mean, you couldn't have set up any better to finish it out. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, these guys have been outstanding all season. And, uh, you know, it, you know, again, I think uh, uh, credit Texas for, for putting on some good ABs late in the game um, and uh, a couple of tough breaks. And, and uh, you know, we, uh, we kept fighting on, on offense. And but just weren't able to get back uh, back on top. So it's a tough one to swallow. Yeah. Snyder's been so solid for you guys all season long. Just what did you see from him in that inning? Because it just seemed kind of uncharacteristic with location. Yeah, he's. I mean, he has. He's had an incredible season for us, and and uh, he's been a guy that we've been able to to really go to there late in the game. And and uh, you know, um, Simeon's a tough hitter, and uh, you know, I think they uh, it caught a couple breaks and and. Uh, you know that's just kind of how that went, um, um, and it's again, it's it's a tough way to go. It's tough. It's it's tough to lose a lead like that late, and and uh, but you know our guys will you know will bounce back. We've done it before, and we'll come back tomorrow ready to go. And you guys had some traffic against against Rocker right away. I mean, I think the first two guys are on, and then again you had two walks. It just seemed like you couldn't really deliver the knockout blow to him to really get him. Yeah, we we definitely had some traffic early. Um, I thought he, you know, he, he kind of got his slider going, and uh, it was a pretty good slider, um, you know. And uh, I think, uh, you know, we, we definitely put ourselves in a position to win tonight, and and uh, you know, I thought we had some good at bats against him, um, but but he's, you know, he looked like he had some pretty good stuff as well. Luke's been pretty hard on himself before when things don't go his way, and he's front and center at some of those plays. Just what did you see from him when he came back to the dugout after that? Oh, I mean, you know, it's 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 uh, those things are going to happen. You know, it's baseball, and uh, you know, he's been so solid for us all season long, and the at bats he's given us, and and uh, you know, he's uh, he's been a big part of our, our club this year, and and uh, you know, he'll he'll be, he'll bounce back, and and uh, you know, it's a it's we, we got to play again tomorrow. We got we got lots of baseball still ahead of us, and and that's where we're going to turn. And you guys have been really good at the add-on runs, though, when you did take a lead today. Just, you know, after the fifth, it just didn't really get anything co cooking until maybe the very end. Yeah, add-ons are important. You know, again, we, um, you know, I, I think our, our bats were good. Um, you know, just weren't able to get anything else across. But but uh, certainly, um, you know, we will we look, we'll continue to, to, to fight and, and continue to do what we've been doing all along and, and uh, come back tomorrow ready to play. What was uh, Bryce's message to you after the comeback or off the arm when you ran out there to check on it? Uh, just off his glove. Yeah, it just uh, didn't didn't get him anywhere. It just got his glove, and and that was uh, that's what he told us. So he was fine. Dan, the, the Rangers beat him up really bad last year in a couple outings, and this year, obviously the new weapons. But you know, that, that's a growth step, isn't it? To, to beat a team that's you know to go out and pitch well against a team that really gave you trouble. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've we, like we've talked about before. You know, we've really seen a couple of guys on the mound really take some steps forward, and, and that's certainly um, you know one of the steps that he's taken. And, and uh, um, you know, he's really you know learned how to, to use that fastball and learned how to use his second st secondary stuff. And, and uh, I thought he looked really really strong tonight. Victor Robles, I mean, we've talked so much about what he's brought to the team that you know there he is in the leadoff spot, uh, the only member of the lineup who didn't strike out tonight. What impact does he have on at that top of the lineup? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's exciting. He's an exciting player, and and uh, getting him on base and, and making things happen on the bases and and being a distraction defensively for for the other team. Um, you know, he he finds his way to second and third and and gets himself uh, you know across home plate and and uh, yeah, he's been an exciting player for us and and uh, um, you know does such does a lot of things at that leadoff spot for sure. Bryce, that's a team that tagged you pretty good last season. I mean, we've talked all about the weapons that you've had, but just to get results against that team in particular, knowing that you're going to be facing them a lot in your career, what does that do for you with what 
Yeah, it was big. Um, kind of going into this week, I was telling telling Burn this is a redemption week for me because um, Texas definitely has had my number um, the last you know few starts, and I got the Yankees coming up too, and I think I'm owing to against them. So, um, but you know I've, I'm a lot better than I am, or a lot better now than I was. You know, the last few times I've faced them. So, um, yeah, no, it's big. You know, I. I felt really good with with fastball location um, early in the game. Threw a lot of cutters today, um, more than I've I ever have. And uh, first one I threw, I think got a broken broken bat. So um, really, everything felt good. Splitter kind of felt weird. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of like slipping out, but I uh, kind of noticed they weren't swinging at it. So everyone except for Langford. <laughs> so I was just dumping them in there, but. Um, yeah, no, it's big. You know, I, last year I felt like I couldn't. It was like a struggle to get a, to have a clean inning. I don't even know if I had any clean innings against them last year. So, um, definitely feels good. You had the the one inning with a lot of traffic. Cal came out. You guys had a little conversation. Was it one of the Cal conversations where he does all the talking, where you guys just kind of strategizing there? Um, yeah, no, he he came out just to uh, give me a breather. Um, he, I don't know, he doesn't really. He doesn't say too much sometimes, so <laughs> <laughs> he just yeah, does he the just, look or what? Yeah, he just comes and just kind of looks at me. Um, but uh, no, it was good. Um, dialed in and you know I threw three off-speed pitches to Simeon and and was able to get him to roll over, so that was good. Just you fall behind to the bottom three there, and they they all find a way on base. But to just kind of escape that jam, I mean, what does that do for you, too, to just be able to prove to yourself that you can work around, you know, one of the majors' better leadoff hitters? Yeah, no, it's uh, I don't know. Um, I, I ideally I wouldn't want the bases loaded with Simeon coming up, but um, I should have took care of business with you know the bottom of the lineup. But um, I had two. That was that was really you know the main inning for me because I was through four you know pretty efficiently. I got two outs in the fifth, um, and then it was like I fell behind, base hit, um, fell behind again, full count, base hit. Then we get a walk, um, so you know it could have been a less than ten pitch inning and turned into twenty plus. So um, that was you know the main thing I was I was upset about just because I was in a good spot you know to get through seven um, and get deep into the game and that was kind of self inflicted. Um, uh, just you know get two quick outs. I got to finish, um, get the third out, and you know get us back on offense. But overall, you know I was glad I was able to get out of it and, and keep it one to one. But yeah, if if I'm not playing around there, then you know then I'm cruising and probably into the seventh inning. Had a few run-ins with comebackers this year too. Just w- what happened with this one tonight? Dan said it only got your glove though. Yeah, no, I didn't really see it. It came back, and uh, I saw it like barely, and I tried to get out the way, and it hit my glove and then my my fingertips. I should have caught it though. I got two hands on it. I mean, it should be a catch. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I don't know. That one, that one hurt way less than the one that Eloy hit back at me on like 112. <laughs> so I was glad it was only like 93. <laughs> it was actually uh, after Woodworth's mountain visit that you had Simeon. What what makes him so effective? Because then you come back, throw the ball to Simeon, and it's two perfectly placed sweeper or slider sweeper. Um, what does he bring to you in that moment? Uh, he just kind of, you know, he came out and just, once again, kind of gave me a breather. Um, anytime bases are loaded and you got the, you know, you got Simeon up, like he's a really good hitter. Um, just had to, you know, execute my plan and uh, just, you know, trust my stuff. Um, wanted to get ahead and um, I think we went 1 0, but then came back with the slider and went, went, went with the sweeper and got the ground ball. So, um, but yeah, you know, Woody's great. Anytime, you know, he comes out, he's going to give us something. Um, to, to get us back in the zone and, and get us going. So, um, yeah, it was, you know, he came out and I, and I executed, so it was good. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.